Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how binary numbers work. Now to understand how binary numbers work, it helps if you have a solid understanding of how exactly base 10 numbers work. So we're going to start with a base 10 number, say, I don't know, 327. Now what this means in base 10 is that there are three 100s in the 100s place, or 100s column, two tens in the tens column, and seven ones in the ones column. Now, the value of this base 10 number can be, is calculated by doing three, or I'm sorry, 100 times three plus 10 times two plus, and I got room, uh, seven times one, and that is equal to 327. Sorry about that. So this is going to seem pretty trivial, especially if you've been doing math for at least a few, a few years, but this is going to help a lot when we are decoding binary numbers. Okay, we're going to check out one more base 10 example. We're going to do 205 and uh, 2 in the hundred, two one hundreds in the hundreds column, zero tens in the tens column, and five ones in the ones column. Now that means its value is equal to one hundred times two plus ten times zero plus five times one. That is equal to two hundred and five. Now with base ten as it should be obvious by now, every column's value to the left, for every place it goes to the left, it increases by a factor of 10. So we start with 1, then it goes to 10, then it goes to 100, the next one over would be 1,000, and so on and so on. Okay, now that we have a solid idea of how base 10 numbers work, we can start to understand how binary numbers work. Now, just to recap on what I said a few seconds ago, base 10 for every um, every column value in base 10 goes up by a factor of 10, since there are 10 numbers which you can use to represent a value, and those are uh, the numbers from 0 to 9. So if we have a 1 in the 1s column, a 2 in the 10s column, a 4 in the 100s column, uh, this base 10 value is calculated by doing 4 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 1, and that is equal to 421. Very, very simple. Now, with binary, since there are only two numbers which you can use to represent a value, those are 0 and 1, every, every column's place value um, goes up by a factor of 2. So it starts at 1 and then it goes to 2, and then it goes to 4, and then to 8. So it keeps doubling, and it would keep doing this for the length of the binary number. So here, we are able to set up a four-digit binary number. So we are going to start with 0, 1, I'm sorry, uh, we're going to put a 0 in the 1's place, or 1's column, a 1 in the 2's column, a 0 in the 4's column, and a 1 in the 8's column. Now, how this is calculated is by doing... 8 times 1 plus 4 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1, and that is equal to 10. Very, very simple. Okay, now we're going to decode these three binary numbers. We're going to start with the one on the top, and we are going to start by writing down the column values. So the first column in binary is always 1 second column is 2, and third one is 4. And that is because every column value doubles for every place to the left it goes. So here we see there is a 1 here in the 4's place, so we do we so we have a 4. There is a 0 in the 2's place, so we do not have 2. And there is a 1 in the 1's place, so we do have a 1. So that means that the base 10 value of this binary number is 4 plus 1, 
which is of course equal to five. Okay, now we have this number, one, 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 and we're gonna write down the values, the column values. Okay, so you see here, there is a one in the fours uh, column. So we do have a four, there's a one in the twos column. So we do have a two and there is a one in the ones column, so we do have a one. So the result of this binary number is four plus two plus one, which is equal to seven. Okay, now we have a four digit binary number. It's, you solve it the exact same way as any other binary number. You write down the values, the column values. And you just check whether there is a one in the, any any given column, and then you add the column's respective value to the total. So here, there is a one in the eights column, so we have eight. There is a zero in the fours column, so we do not have a four. There is a one in the twos column, so we have a two. There is a one in the ones column, so we have a one. So the result of this is eight plus two plus one, which is equal to 11. Okay, now we are going to build a binary decoder using Python. Now, this is not necessarily meant to be a Python or programming tutorial, but if you've been doing programming for a little bit or playing around with Python, then I think you will find this video or this segment uh, interesting and beneficial. Okay, now we are gonna start by declaring a variable called binary number, and this is gonna be equal to input, and we're gonna say enter binary value. Now that, so binary number is equal to whatever binary number the user enters when the program runs. Okay, now we need to get the column values. So I'm going to define a function called get column values. I'm gonna say, we're gonna have a binary number passed as an argument in here. And we are going to uh, make a list uh, just an empty list to store the values, and we are going to have a variable that stores a number so that we can keep track of the current uh, column value, and it's this number is always going to start at 1 because 1 is always the first uh, column value in binary. Okay, now we are going to say for uh, every element in binary num, we want to uh, let's see values dot insert at index zero the value of n and then we want to say n times equals two so n doubles and then we are returning uh, values okay now we just make the final decode function we're going to say uh, def decode we're going to put a binary num in there too. And we are gonna, um, let's see, we need to get the column value. So I'm gonna say column values is equal to get column values uh, binary num. Okay, and we need to keep track of the total value. So the base 10 value, this is gonna be the base 10 value that we return after everything is decoded. Now we say for i in range from zero to the bi binary uh, number length, the length of the binary number, we want to check if binary num index of i is equal to one. And if it is equal to one, then we want the total to be equal to the total plus column values index of i. And now all we gotta do is return uh, total. And then we are gonna call, we are gonna say base 10 num is equal to decode. We're gonna put in the binary number that we uh, created at the beginning of the program. And then we are going to print base 10 num and that should be it. 
Okay, now let's see if this program actually works. I am in the terminal and I am in the directory in which the Python file is stored that runs the binary decoder program. So now I'm going to say Python 3 binary decoder dot pi. I'm going to press enter, enter binary value. We're going to do 1, 0, 1, and that equals 5. We're going to do, I'm going to run it again. We're going to say 1, 0, 1, 0. That should be 10, exactly. We're going to do a big number that I don't know what this is off the top of my head. 7, 1, oh wow, 175,607. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at how the program works. Now for the sake of demonstration purposes, we are going to say that the user entered the binary number 1010. Okay, the first thing we do is we create a function called uh, get column values, and it basically what it does, it creates an array or, or a list with the needed values to decode the binary number. So in this case, the binary number is equal to 1010, so that means it has four digits in it. So we are going to say for every element in the binary number, values.insert, so insert at the first index, insert at index 0, the value of n, and then we are going to double n. So basically it's going to look like this. We're going to insert n, so it's 1, n is going to double, and then we insert that again, and then it's going to double again, so it's 4, we insert that, and then it equals 8, and we insert that. Okay, so now values is equal to, or it holds the values 8, 4, 2, and 1, and then we simply return that list. Okay, next in the decode function, we get the column values and store it in its respective variable, and then we declare a total, a variable called total, to keep track of the total base 10 value of all the values that we are decoding, and then what this piece of code does right here, this for loop, it goes through every index of the binary number uh, one by one, and it checks to see if it is equal to one, and if it is equal to one, it adds the corresponding value of the column values list to the total. So in this case, one, zero, one, zero, we see the first index is equal to eight, so we add 8 to the total, so 8, or total is now equal to 8. And then we go to the next index, which is 0, and since it's 0, we do not do anything. So then we move to the next index, which is 1, and we see the corresponding column values index, or column values index value, wow, that's, that's a mouthful, uh, is equal to 2. So we do add that, so total is equal to 10. And the next one is equal to zero, so we don't do anything. And then we're done. And then we return total. And then down here we say base 10 number is equal to decode binary number. And then we just simply print that base 10 number. Just want to point out real quick that this program will work with any length of binary number. One time I filled the entire terminal screen with a series of ones and zeros, and it still ended up computing. Wow, that is a massive number. Uh, on that note, I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.